Hey, good morning guys. Aaron and Buddy back in the garage. Well, back in the kitchen. Uh, we have a video continuing the 911 engine build series. We got our heads here. And uh, in this video, we're gonna show you how to uh, see if they are flat before we reassemble them. So I ordered this thing off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It's essentially just a big flat edge that is accurate down to the like one one hundredth of an inch. One one thousandth. One thousandth of an inch. Yes. Yeah. So uh, just opened it up. All right. So we're just going to set this thing on the heads in a few different orientations. And uh, what's the spec for how flat it's supposed to be? Um, the, they like it. Well, the. <laughs> Um, they want to see it flat, but less than four one thousandths is what, uh, so you want to get a feeler gauge that has a thousandths, uh, or two one thousandths, um, uh, sliver on it, uh, or what do you call it, blade on it. Uh, but one easy way that DIYers can do is just, you know, pull a flashlight on it and see if there's any light. Any significant amount of light, you focus on that area. So that's a quick and easy way. So we're gonna go turn on our light on this head. And we're gonna... And obviously the areas where there is like right here, where there's a gap, you're gonna see light come through, but anywhere that it's actually touching the head all the way to the edge, you're not gonna see any light. So that is great. So if it's touching both corners and also no light in the middle, then you know that you're, you're good. That's a quick and easy way. When there, whenever there's yeah. any light on it, what you want to do is you want to put a feeler gauge. Yeah, so, yeah, this thing mm -hmm. is flat nice. So yeah, we're going to do... Uh, I mean, a, a bad thing would be if it rocks, right? But. Yeah, so we're going to do an X across and then one straight down the middle in a couple different spots just to make sure we don't see any light. And of course we'll see light like right here because mm -hmm. there's a gap, but it's full. Oh. How does it feel? It is looking perfect to me. Yep, so we'll just go through a few different spots on each but one. Basically just rinse and repeat, right? Yep. You got the light at the and bottom. of course, if you can feel it rock at all, bad news. This way, yeah. yeah. And then you can go and do the same thing to the block where this is going to mate, just to make sure that... And again, with a 4 one thousandths gauge, you try to get in, and it doesn't even... Right? That's, that's, the, real, that's the real deal. That's probably what we recommend. And we're going to go through it and do it with a feeler gauge. But um, there is another spec on this, which is a surface roughness. And I don't know how good of a of a video you can get on that, but if you if you look at the sort of the reflection there, if you go to real real tight, there are little tiny machining grooves on this. Do you see that? Uh, Is it possible it's to see? Hard to see on camera, but okay, maybe on a bigger screen you can see. If that. you come to this side, it has a little bit of grease, and so there's a little bit of a reflection on it. See that? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It has like little tiny lines. That's like a surface roughness RA80 or whatever. Again, these heads were removed from a car that had um, 130,000 miles or something like that. Uh -huh. And uh, there were no head problems. Uh, we removed them. We, we did a very um, mild cleaning. We did it with media. We cleaned it afterwards. Probably way too many times. We cleaned it about ten times, uh, I'm, and I'm not exaggerating. Uh, from anything from power washing, dipping, dry air, um, you know, wet. <laughs> uh, we've cleaned the snot out of these, but uh, the surface uh, roughness um, that allows for the gasket to sort of uh, clamp on. Bond, yes. Yeah, that that remains. So. Hold on a yeah, because if these were perfectly flat, then your uh, gasket would not you mean seal very smooth. well. Yes, they're perfectly smooth. Yes, perfectly yeah. flat, good. Perfectly <laughs> smooth, bad. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, so you, you want a little bit of texture so that you have something to bond to. Yep, when, when this engine was taken apart, there were a lot of things wrong, but this, the mating of the head to the cylinder, 
Uh, uh, yeah, we block. had no leaks yeah. originally. Um, okay, so that is uh, how you do it. I'll put a link to this tool in the description. It was like 60 bucks or something like that. Yeah, very useful um, tool. But uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll use it for many other things. It came in, FYI, this <laughs> tube to keep it protected with that top. And if anybody has a better recommendation other than smashing a hole in it and prying it off, let me yeah. know. That, that was the most difficult part of yeah, this job. Yeah, the uh, most difficult part was getting it out of this tube. <laughs> so. All right, so hope that's helpful. Uh, stick around. We are about to shoot the next video in the series where we are going to uh, start replacing the valve.